Okay, so what we're gonna do now is now we're gonna do a little bit of segmentation work, but we're gonna make you work for it a little bit here. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna see if you just place your hands beside you on this first one, so kind of outside of your shoulders. If you actually slowly lower yourself to the ground so that your face is almost touching the ground, we're gonna see if you can segment by segment or vertebrae by vertebrae, peel yourself up off the ground without jumping straight to that lower back or lower portion of your spine. So join me here, I'm gonna talk you through it. We're gonna think, even slightly tuck the tailbone just in case there's some kind of hypermobile people here through that low back. I want you to take this painfully slow, okay? Think about ever so slightly lifting your collarbones off the ground. So most of your chest should stay on the ground as you do so. Just think lift the collarbones and see if you can lever your spine right there. You can lightly use your hands to assist if you need, but try and make as much of this work happen with your spine as you can. Now most of your sternum should still be on the ground. Think about peeling just the very top of your sternum off, but keep 50% of that sternum on the ground and just see how much you can get in terms of extension while keeping 50% of your sternum on the ground. Once you feel like you've maxed that out, take another 25% of your sternum off the ground. You should still feel like a good part of your chest is on the ground, but you've lifted yourself a little higher. Now we're gonna go a little bit more. Take the rest of your sternum off of the ground. You should still feel the front of your ribs on the ground. Now we're in upper thoracic extension. We're gonna take a little bit more off the ground. So take the next rib or two off of the ground in the front. Essentially, as we get higher and higher here, you should feel fewer and fewer of your ribs on the ground. So take one more rib off the ground, come up a little higher. Take another rib off the ground a little higher yet. And another one, and now you should feel like you're getting fairly close to your low back. See if you can give me one more rib and hold, and see how much you can maximize that curve in that portion. Now we're gonna painfully, slowly pace one rib down at a time. So just give me one more rib on the floor in front of you. Pace one more rib down to keep your chest, collarbone, sternums up as high as you can. Pace one more rib down so you're a little lower. Another rib down, now you should feel like the base of your sternum is starting to approach the floor. Just use your hands as much as needed, no more. Bottom of your sternum is gonna to come to the ground. You're gonna put like 50% of your sternum on the ground, the rest of your sternum, and then you're gonna just relax and shake it out. And we're gonna do that one more time. So again, try on the second round and last round, bear in mind, to use your hands as little as possible. Okay, we're gonna go really slowly, just take your collarbones off the ground and really try and peak that work or funnel that work right into your upper, upper thoracic spine. And then use those little spine muscles to pull just the very top of your sternum off the floor. And then let's go to half of the sternum is off the floor. Good, take another 25% of your sternum off the floor. Now take the full sternum off the floor. Now we're gonna take one rib at a time off. Peel one more rib off of the floor. Use your hands as little as necessary. You can even go hands-free if you're feeling confident. And then take one more rib off. Take another rib off. You should still feel like all this work is in your, like your thoracic spine, not so much your lumbar spine. Give me one more rib and hold. And now we're gonna pace one rib down ever so slowly. And like I said, you can go hands-free if you want. Another rib down really slowly and another rib, base of the sternum contacts the ground, half the sternum on the ground, the rest of the sternum, and relax the collarbones. Very good.